was bringing my husband up because he had a silver sneaker plan, something to get him some exercise and so he can get stronger because he had cancer at that time. After we registered, we was taking a tour of the place and one of the ladies recommend Live Strong and I said, I've never heard of it. And I got so excited because I thought this is perfect. This is what a, a survivor needs to know how to exercise and to work out. And it was just perfect, picture perfect. Then she told me also I can come in as a supporter. So that's what I did. Unfortunately, I lost my husband November the 19th, this past year, and uh, I'm still going on working out in this place. I'm still in treatment, so I started the Live Strong class about midway through chemo. And um, so it was really nice to be able to be active while finishing up chemo treatments. And then I went to radiation treatment, so I've been doing that for the past six weeks. But it was almost like a date, going out on a date. <laughs> you know, we, we two o'clock every Monday and Wednesday. And, um, and especially every week having to go through chemo. Not necessarily something you look forward to there, but at least we had something during the week on Mondays and Wednesdays to, you know, to say, hey, let's, you know, it's, it's time for Live Strong and go there. And we, and we met, met great people there as well. Yeah, well, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2000, and I guess it was about a year later. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2001, and then again in 2014. One thing that I thought was interesting is just seeing, you know, people that dealt with cancer more recently and the things that they were still going through and you know, kind of makes you grateful that you, know, you got you know, past it and are cancer free at this point in time. But you know, getting introduced to various programs at the Y and you know, learning how to use the, you know, the different machines, and, which I've never done before, uh, you know, was very helpful. It's given me more energy. And just seeing other people you know, that have gone through what you've gone through is helpful too. It's scalable. What you're able to accomplish that day is, is what the workout will be. And it'll help jumpstart your recovery to come to a program like this where the instructors are gonna help you learn what you need to know to enhance your fitness and help your treatment work better. When you know that people are counting on you being there and you're gonna be doing something new and different and something that maybe you never thought about doing before, but you're gonna do that activity with other people, it makes it a lot less daunting and a lot more fun. I think it helps to see if they're not alone too, that you know, other people are dealing with the same thing and that, you know, they can, they can get through it, so can you. Especially if they are new to the area or they don't know very many people, this would give them a chance to meet people that are going through what they're going through. Some days my husband couldn't make it, one day you know, we knew he couldn't make it, but he's, a lot of times he said, I'm going on just because you want to go. <laughs> So, but it was good. It's a great program and we're all accountable for each other. Come, come and try it. You'll feel great. You'll feel great once you get exercising. Live strong at the YMCA.